line. They're off in the fountain of youth. It's Saturday, February the 27th, Holy Bull Steaks Day. Out here with Kim and my mom. After the big day yesterday with 10 winners, seven of them here at Gulfstream, that's the most I had in one day so far this season, came out here for the eight stakes races, a huge day. So much so my mom goes home on the plane this afternoon and I told her, Kim will have to take you, I'm staying at the races. So, in the first of the graded stakes is the Grade 3 Gulfstream Park Sprint. Number 5, XYZ Jet. The last three times he'd run, he'd been sensational. And each time I said, he's not that good. Fool me once, okay. Fool me twice. The third time I thought for sure I could beat him, but okay, today I buy in. I told Kim, we'll see how good he is today because today I'm on top of him. Bobbled out of the gate, not good for a front runner. Larry Colmas called out 43 for the half mile, going six and a half furlongs. I'm like, I don't know. The top of the stretch, then Griffin, Viva Mallorca, oh, that half was 43 and four. They're coming to the top of the stretch, and XY Jet turns for home with a two and a half length lead, ready for Rye, is coming. He's three lengths behind with a furlong to go. On the inside comes Camden, and the center of the track, it is Griffin. And now, reaching for the wire is XY Jet. Here comes Cam Dip. XY Jet. XY Ultra Jet. Ultra impressive. 30. 30 to win on XYZ Jet. First stakes win of the day. The fourth at Gulfstream was a grade two Devona Dale for three year old Phillies with their eyes on the Oaks. Number five, Catherine Sophia, undefeated, and man, she was impressive last time out, winning here. First time she raced at Gulfstream, and that was at seven furlongs. Today, she's trying a mile for the first time, but Joel Rosario hurt in a spill last week. That gave the mound to top jockey, Javier Castellano. Sat comfortably on the favorite into the far turn, and then he let her go. Pace now, and she's moving up on the outside of the front runners. And Lewis Bay is right behind them as Begema retreats along the rail. Then Rontos Lily around the far turn, dearest on the inside. Our girls a charmer between Catherine Sophia to the outside and Lewis Bay four wide. Three quarters in one eleven and four. They're into the stretch. Catherine Sophia runs for the lead on the outside. Catherine Sophia is pouring it on now. She has opened up so Catherine five Sophia. Catherine Sophia. The a while since the fantastic Catherine Sophia wins the number. fifty on Catherine Sophia. Wow, is that Philly good? Two stakes wins in a row. Woohoo! Race six at Gulfstream was the grade three. Here comes a bride for three year old Phillies. Feature the reigning two year old Philly champ on the turf. Catch a glimpse. Number eight. She'd won the grade two summer stakes up at Woodbine when Jim Anderson and I were there. He's here with me here today with my mom and Kim. And she just looked much the best on paper. She ran a race. Press the pace setter into the far turn. Two lengths off the lead, then gone away to the outside. Followed by wedding dress, hold harmless, rides the rail into the turn as they really tighten up and catch a glimpse, takes the lead. Catch a glimpse is in front as the field makes their way toward the top of the stretch. Lyra sent up after her, wedding dress in the far outside. Then it's gone away and they're into the stretch and it's catch a glimpse. Come on, Cole. Opens up two and a half lengths. Lyra is second glimpse. as they come past the 16th pole. Catch a glimpse by three. Watch the and best. Catch a glimpse comes back and the, here comes the bride. Wins it by three. Catch a glimpse. That's three stakes winners in a row here. It's a great day. The seventh at Gulfstream. We were on the turf. It was a non-winners of two allowance. I like Todd Pletcher's number 12. It's only acting dad. Interesting story. I had this filly in her debut last year at nine to one. She lost in a photo. She went on to win two other races. And the last time out was on July 4th where she was a good second in the grade one Belmont Oaks behind the undefeated champion, Lady Eli. 
It's a long layoff, but Todd Fletcher's 37% with those kind. The outside post did her no favors. So they hit the far turn, she swung yeah, out wide. Coming attraction is there too. And then to the outside comes It's Only Acting Dad. It's wide open and they come to the top of the stretch. Anyone's got a shot from here is coming attraction now. On the outside. It's Only Acting Dad. Few moments left there. Toward the inside comes Dream of Mine. Now it's coming attraction. It's Only Acting Dad. Pugel coming down to the line. It's Only it's Acting Dad. Only acting dad. Acting it's Only Acting Dad. Five. Five. Double the bet on It's Only Acting Dead. That makes my fourth winner today at Gulfstream. Man, I'm having a good day. And my mom, look at this ticket at the casino. She's had a great two days here. The eighth at Gulfstream was the grade three Canadian going a mile and a 16th. I like number eight, heart to heart. Told my mom and Kim, see the starting gate? See the finish line just past it. If I'm in front there, the race is over. Gates open, heart to heart went right to the front. They're off on the Canadian turf. Is he in the front? And it is heart to heart who goes straight off to the front. Evans already came out running in second. The man down the backside, Kim said, Are you happy? I said, Oh, you bet I am. When Larry Comas called the half in 48 and change, I knew it was all over. Heart to heart in front by daylight, turn it for home. Some ground now with six lengths to make up, and it's going to switch to the outside as they come to the top of the stretch. Heart to heart, turning for home in front by two, and then it's out. The inside followed by Long Island Value. Dubisi Dello's got a lot of work to do. He's closing on the heart to heart. Two hearts. Wire to wire. The Green Three Canadian. I win again. Tripled the bet on heart to heart. That's five. Five wins today at Gulfstream, four graded stakes. Man, it's a great day. The eighth at Tampa was a maiden special weight for three year olds going five and a half furlongs. Look, number seven, Intacto, a first time starter for trainer Eddie Loza. And Loza has been winning at a big 47% at Tampa, and he's been doing 35% with first time starters. Top rider Gallardo winning at a 42% clip. All looks good to me. Slow out of the gate, press the favorite, uh, the second choice, into the stretch, tried to squeeze up the rail. And they turned through three sixteenths of a mile to run. Splash rules and Manny Cruz have the lead. Intact two is there toward the rail, racing along second. Cultivate is on the outside. Inside the final furlong is still Splash rules, digging in gamely and toward the rail, Intact two, in tight quarters. Checks slightly for racing room and now finds a hole down to the wire. It's Splash Rules hanging on. No, oh, second at seven to five. Wait, inquiry. Second offense in the run through the stretch. The objection, seven against the six. Ladies and gentlemen, for interference in the stretch run, Number six, Splash Rules, has been disqualified from first and place second. Moving up, number seven, in turn two. Double the bet, I'll take the win by, by DQ. Gets back nearly $25. Nice, first win not here at Gulfstream. At eight, that Aqueduct was their feature, the Busher Stakes for three-year-old fillies. I like Todd Fletcher's number five, Mo Amour, from the hot young sire, Uncle Mo. Todd Fletcher trained. That was good enough for me with Chris DiCarlo up. Man, you know how I love those bullet works. Best of 101 bullet. Wow. Looked up at the board, could not believe he was seven to, she was seven to two. So they left the gate four to one. Riding the rails through the far turn. Looked like she was running evenly. DiCarlo swung her out three wide. Remains in fourth. It's still whistling straights. Lost Raven now right alongside. Katniss the victor is third as the field hits the top of the stretch. Three quarters, one and one fourteen. Katniss the victor has taken the lead now from Lost Raven. Mo Demore has come off the inside and is gaining ground. And Dreams to Reality is putting in a big run out in the middle of the track. Here's Mo Demore now to take the lead from Katniss the victor. Dreams to Reality on the outside. They come down for the finish. And Mo Demore has won the measure. Double the bet, 50 bucks on a Pletcher Philly. Woo, it's a good day.
featured $400,000 express bet in Fountain of Youth Stakes today. Featured Derby favorite Mo Amen. Went off at a generous 2 to 5, I thought. Raided off a of Zulu into the stretch, and the two of them sprinted for home. Turn and Zulu takes the lead. Zulu has taken over on the far turn from Awesome Better, and Mo Heyman is right alongside of them, and the three of them head around the far turn, four lengths clear of Awesome Speed, who's been passed now by Fellowship, and Fellowship's about to go past Stable Made Awesome Better on the far turn. In the meanwhile, Zulu and Mo Heyman have run three quarters in 111 flat, and they're coming to the top of the stretch of the Fountain of Youth. Fellowship is trying to... And they're into the stretch, and it's Mo Heyman who is taking the lead on the outside. Mo Today, what a big day! A hundred to win on Mo Heyman on to the Florida Derby. That's 13 wins in two days at Gulfstream. Man, it's been a great weekend.